Hello all you cheeky otters. Today I'm going to show you how to do something really useful. This is called time stretching. Now, say you have a vocal sample and it's just too freaking slow or fast, you know, for it to match your tempo. I'm going to show you how to make it the right speed. Right, this is going to make more sense in a minute. Alright, so what you want to do is grab your vocal sample. Uh, which one was I going to use? Uh, no, 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 I think, I'm not sure. Here we go, this one's 128. 140, 128. Let's use this one. Okay. Uh, we're going to drag it into our FL Studio. Just drag it down. I want. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, so we're going to set it down to 140 just to match the time. And I'm going to make a generic drum and bass loop. Uh, I want. Yeah, okay, so, um, we've got it, eh? I watch as they rush by I watch as they rush by Slightly out of time Wearing the skin In fact, I'm so lazy that I'm actually gonna use this 128 one So let's bring it back to uh, 228. The time has come to break. Okay, that's pretty much alright. So, now for the time stretching bit. Say you want to. Oh, that's 127. <gasps> okay, suppose we want to make this uh, 175 BPM so we can match our drum and bass thing. Double click it. Make sure that the project tempo is the same as the. Uh, What's it called? The vocal sample. What you want to do is right click this little time knob here and press auto detect, then press 128 project. And uh, next go to the here where it says resample and press ooh, transient. Wait for it to stretch its ting. Now, whenever you change the tempo, it will ask if you want to stretch the channel. You press C and Lo and behold, the time has come to break right. free, leave behind restrictions, addictions, be unfettered, undefined. The time has come to break. I am a genius. Uh, so there you go. Check out my SoundCloud, SoundCloud, or I'll smash your kneecaps.